we have a thread on the forums where we try to answer questions as truthfully as possible um, and uh, we decided that we might just as well do this in video since this is a slow week we have nothing to do besides playing League of Legends more or less correct correct so uh, and your hero this week is uh, Timo uh, Captain Timo actually is he, I just love the sound, is he sound effect is he OP? I think he's OP. He's OP uh, at higher levels. I think that before level 5 he's kind of so-so, but after level 5 he starts getting the attack speed up and then he's really hard to stop. So. Okay, great. Who do you play? Choga? Uh, I just uh, just changed to Choga. Okay. So. I like tanking. So let's move on. Oh, the idea is I'll ask you a couple of questions and then you'll direct those that you think that I could answer better to me. Sure! So the first one is from Romtos. Who's, uh, yeah. He's asking what time frame not covered yet by the Paradox uh, lineup? The, the Dark Ages, the Three Kingdoms, etc. Et and the other ones that are badly covered, in his opinion, Napoleonic Wars, First, First World War, would you personally like to see covered in a dedicated game by the development team? First of all, I think uh, the Napoleonic Wars are, uh, in, as a matter of fact, quite well covered by Europa Universalis uh, expansions. So they're not shitty, but that's what you're Not saying. that bad, they're not that bad. And since, since we're working with um, uh, with Age of nowadays yeah. as well. They have a Napoleonic game, dedicated Napoleonic game. Listen to us. Paradox France. Paradox France. Age of, name it what you want. Yeah. Great guys. Uh, so I, I don't, I don't really agree on the Napoleonic stuff. Okay. But well, we haven't covered the future. We could have like lasers and like European Versalis go space. Yeah. Uh, Terra Universalis. Terra Universalis. Oh, the great the interplanetary, great, uh, interplanetary uh, expansion. Intergalactic. Interga we're already doing Sword of the Stars too, but this would be a historical uh, galactic future empire. history. Exactly. Okay. Uh, very and the diff you have to discuss whether it will be sandbox historical or or more streamlined historical. If it's historical event driven or more sandbox mode that we've chosen in the past. So obviously that, that's uh, that's important. I agree, but um, yeah. Uh, the next question, is, it's, this is an important question, and I know that this is your area of expertise. Yeah. What is the average flight speed of an unladen swallow? Uh, is, is that an African or European swallow? European. European swallow. Uh, 24 miles per hour. 24, not kilometers. No, miles per hour. Miles per hour, okay. I, I read it actually on the forums. So okay. I cheated. I actually cheated and I looked at the thread. I have no idea whether that was actually from Wiki Wikipedia or from somewhere else. So. But, okay, I, I, yeah, whatever. But uh, it's an important question and, and uh, we have It's to, very important, yes. we have to, it's, it's important. Do you, th do you think that Red Ralph Vig Wiggum uh, asks, do you, non do you think it harms Paradox somewhat that you effectively have no competitors at all? Is there danger that you could become a monopoly on deep strategy games? Could that lead to stagnation? That's, that's a very good question. It's a good um, question, man. I think, first of all, I don't think we have a monopoly on deep strategy games. I think there are a lot of them. Uh, first we, of all, we have Civilization. Yes. Uh, obviously, we have Stardock is doing but a lot of games. But would you call Civilization um, deep strategy? Deep enough for me, but on the other hand, I'm a lightweight guy yeah. when it comes to strategy. So, um, but, but like I said, Stardock is doing some good stuff. Um, Matrix Games and Slytherin. Are putting up some, uh, putting out some good games, and so I, I don't think there's a monopoly situation really. I think more, we're, we're big in that niche, but we're we're not alone. And stagnation, yeah. Mm, I mean, it's it's. I don't know. How do we keep ourselves from not stagnating? How do we keep the internal development well, on their toes? Well, well, well. The best way is is to read the forums because people will rage if you stagnate. So uh, <laughs> that, that's uh, that's obvious. Uh, maybe uh, you could say that the Hearts of Iron 3 launch was a wake-up call in some ways, and maybe maybe <laughs> that kept the guys on their toes, right? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Um, uh, yeah, no, what's the next question? Let's move over. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, this is a question that uh, a lot of people are asking, but we've answered it already, but we'll, we'll take it up anyway. Michael Lun Luneburg wonders, is there any possibility of an expansion for Victoria 2? Yes. And I'd like to answer this, and as you know, we don't do expansions for any games. We don't believe in expansions. No expansions. No expansions. Yes, expansions. There will be an expansion for There will be an expansion. Did we announce it already? Yes, it's like secretly announced. 
So is it? Yes. What was there's it? A, there's a, or one I don't know. I don't remember. There's a forum post about it. The Calo King. Okay, then people know. Okay. It. okay. So uh, we'll move on to SAS asks, how far ahead does the internal team plan game development? Once a game is winding down, is that when they start talking about a new game, or is there grand plans that are planned They're out over the <laughs> several years? Years. Years. Oh, okay. Yeah. There is a ground plan. There is a ground plan. Yeah, and we deviate from the ground plan all the time. Though. Yeah. But there is a ground plan. And uh, sometimes we stay on the ground plan and sometimes we don't. Yeah. But, but overall, you could say uh, we have a ground plan. I mean, and we plan like two years ahead. Okay, so for instance, how was Sengoku part of the ground plan or was that something that came up? Sengoku was mostly. Uh, mm, Oh, that was not, not part of the ground plan. Okay. Oh, that was just a really, it was really a great idea. And then, um, then they announced and, and, and released Shogun 2 uh, mm. from, from Creative Assembly. So people immediately thought we were just trailing them, which is not the case. We just wanted to make a game about Japan. Mm. Who wouldn't, wouldn't want to do that? Samurais, ninjas. Samurai. I don't even know if there are ninjas in the game. Though. Uh, yes, there are ninjas, but the development team refuses to call them ninjas because the term ninja wasn't used until the 19th century. So they call them like silent assassins. Uh, whatever, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, we got a couple of questions from uh, Facebook as well. Okay. And this is more for me, so I'm just ask myself. Alright, I could ask you. Okay. Well, which one is it? It's the Pier Paolo. Oh, Pier Paolo Omnis. Uh, any news about the Italian localization for Magic? Yes, it's coming. Uh, that was a very quick one. Yeah, quick one. Do the next one. Vincent van Dyke uh, is is wondering. Uh, I want to know what love is. Uh, he, I think that's a good. Uh, that think that's a reference to Hadaway's excellent excellent song. Uh, what is love? Or I, I want to know what love is. Isn't that Berlin or something? Yeah, I don't know. That's a, that's another well, that's song. Well, let the viewers decide. Yeah. Okay, so the next one. What is love? It's. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. It's, uh, it, I don't know. Some say love is a flower. Some, some say, oh yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, Dustin Jones is wondering, uh, Mountain Blade full sandbox MMO, yes or no? I think that's up to Tail Wars, right? It is up to Tail Wars, but if, if it was up to me, yes. I would say yes. Yes. Great. And I wouldn't oppose you. Thanks, Dustin. Uh, then we have another question from Quare Roja and Alexander Bernstein, uh, who's wondering, uh, that's a long question, I think. When are you going to make a Harsh Iron game for the iPad 2? So we're skipping iPad 1. Uh, no iPad no. 1. No iPad 1. No. Only iPad 2. He wants for the iPad 2, okay? Let's oh, yeah, yeah. Specifically when, iPad 2. I think so. that question is a lot of people are asking about the internal titles and when they will end up on the iPad since iPad is a, is a great platform to have to play games on when you're in the, in the, on the John and have a lot of time to think and that's... Yeah. And that's... Uh, and, uh, I do, I ask you the same question almost every day, right? Yes. And just for your information, we're going to make a lot of games for the iPad. Uh, remember where you heard it first, right? Yes. Good. Uh, I paid ten bucks for Archwire and iPad. Ten game. bucks. Yeah. It S says Alexander Bernstein. Is that reasonable? Now we ten know. Ten bucks. It. No, it's not. But Alexander will pay. Yeah. We'll so make him pay it. He'll pay extra. He will pay extra. If it's cheaper, he will chip in. Uh, Christoph. Christopher Santin wonders, when's Crusader Kings 2 coming out? It's coming out early next year. When it's ready. When it's say. ready, early next year. Good. Lots of people are, <laughs> are actually asking if Vlad in Magicka is a vampire. I mean, this is, a, this is a really common question. And, I mean, of course he's not a vampire. I mean, there's a huge misconception about his interests, his, his taste in uh, red wine, mm. uh, his uh, line choice in clothing mm. uh, he doesn't like the sun I mean there are a lot of similarities between Vlad and the common programmer as well they're very pale yeah and uh, they sleep in coffins they sleep in coffins often mm -hmm. so but uh, I wouldn't say he's a vampire he's misunderstood mostly yeah yeah and that that uh, dialect that is mostly Transylvania yes he's from Eastern very, Europe yes, yes it's, it's very it's ex accidental. very exotic yeah uh, Kaipo wonders um, Kaipo is obviously a foreign name, I guess. Um, did Frederick grow his hair back? I, I actually did. This is not fake. This is my own. And uh, 
we have great hair in the family actually so I grew it back in three months but first thing that happened when I when I shaved it off was that my son wanted to do the same so I wasn't very popular at home among the other people in the family so I, I actually good. had an answer prepared for that and my you answer did? was here that he's still completely bald oh yeah that's a much better answer I like your uh, answer we that. have uh, one more question from Velko oh who's yeah, two questions from Velko this week. Uh, considering the vast amount of new published and in-house titles, are there any plans to reform the forums and rearrange them? It's yes. a, he's saying it's a mess. Uh, yes, it, it is a mess. It, yes. C couldn't we just say no and that we refuse to reform and make improve stuff for users? We, we could say no if it, if it makes you feel better. We mm. could say no. But yes. I, I think we would like to do that. Um, it's just that we need to find a form that actually works. Yeah. So, 